What's going on guys? West Coast Florida Fishing here. And today, in this video, does your Shimano sound like this? Or, maybe when you're fishing, it even sounds like this. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix your line roller in your Shimano reel. So today we have the Shimano Vanquish 2016. Uh, this is a Japan import. You actually can't buy this in the United States unless you buy it from Japan or I guess used like I did. Um, now the number one thing that goes in Shimano's to make them loud is going to be the line roller system. So that's this right here. Underneath this there, there's a line roller bearing and that usually goes bad after a few months just because the salt water creeps in that's a super high point for uh, water to get into um, obviously the lines running through it and the line was in the water so the number one way to actually tell to see if your line roller is even bad is with a rubber band now with this rubber band you can do a few things i like to just stretch it out like this i have a long thin point and then i'll just go back and forth on the line roller just as so You guys can hear that, but I'm gonna put the mic on it and go ahead and do it again. All right, I'm gonna do it again. All right, so immediately that's your first tell. Another tell is if it's loud when you're reeling up your bait or you have pressure on the line, but it's not loud at all when you spin it with no lure on it. And I'll show you what that sounds like. It's seemingly not that loud, but you heard it in the clips when I was fishing and when I opened up this video, it is pretty loud. So let's go ahead and get right into how to fix this. So now that we've diagnosed on what is actually uh, making your reel loud, we're gonna go ahead and look up or try to look up a part schematic for this reel. All right, so I couldn't end up finding a schematic for this reel, but I'll tell you two different ways. So either this entire thing is the apparatus where you just replace that entire one piece line roller or the entire thing disassembles and you can just replace the bearing so let's just open this up and find out today i'll be using my multi-kit tool by craftsman and this is the same tool that i keep using in all my videos it is super helpful i have it down in the description below i think i found a cobalt one last time so all of it'll work so with this screw here you just gotta be careful because sometimes they will strip so make sure you have the appropriate size now what i want you to do is carefully take out every piece as we go deeper into the reel so scoot this aside here move my rubber band so obviously screw comes out first now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold on to everything with my back finger like this i'm going to be opening up the assembly like that and I'll literally just push that paw down that's the entire bail system right there so from there I'm gonna go ahead and remove that shim and lay it down so that's gonna be right next to your screw there then we have this whole system so I'm gonna take out the whole thing and see if it comes out as one piece and it does so that's actually a good thing um, Sometimes I mean it kind of depends. I mean It's a little bit more expensive this way, but it won't be too too bad So we'll set that down and you can actually see that there's another black piece sitting on that shaft and If we push down on that shaft and then push back out It'll rise right to the top You can see all that in there is actually just corrosion So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up with some cleanse oil here now, if you guys don't know what cleanse oil is, it is one of the best penetrating oils for marine service grade and even guns. I've seen it used on electricals. I mean, I've seen it used a lot. Um, guys from Minn Kota use this at my store. This is just really great stuff. It'll penetrate all that salt and it'll penetrate any corrosion. And what I like to do is on some of my reels that have a, a little bit of an older age to them, this gets grimy. Obviously this one isn't, but I'll soak it down there and just let it sit and we'll eat away all that corrosion and make it a little bit smoother. So anyway, we're gonna set this aside now. I'm actually gonna pop this pin out so we don't end up losing it. Um, another thing that's on it is this O-ring, or shim I should say, so make sure we're not losing that. So we're gonna put it on the side over here and we're gonna set this all the way aside now. 
So now what we have is the actual assembly. And as you see, we have this black shim on this side. There's actually another one on the other side and it's right there. That silver piece is the other shim. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some tweezers here and just remove that before we lose it. All right, and I'll set that on this side. And this goes right in the middle. So now we're gonna see if it actually does come out in one piece or if it's all disassembled. So by pushing through on something, something would usually give, um, I believe for the Vanquish, this is a one piece. So I'm gonna have to find another line roller just like this one um, that would comply to the Japanese version of this part because they don't sell any parts for this Vanquish in the United States. So I'll just get as close as I can. I'll probably go to a twin power line roller and see how that works. I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to find this RD18269 here um, and it is expensive at $25. Um, you can find it online probably. Uh, I just, I got it from my store, Bet's Fishing Center. A great place where you got a lot of parts for different Shimano's, um, pens, Daiwa's. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take it out here. And I'll compare it to the old one. So if we look at the two side by side, try to get the glare working on our side here, you can see that they're almost identical. Um, obviously when you go, it's on the floor, hold on. All right, so back to what I was saying. Obviously, when you try to parts match, you want to make it almost identical as possible. So make sure you inspect it very closely, maybe put some calipers on it, see how close it fits. Um, the only difference I see between these two is going to be that plastic ring down at the bottom. You can see on this one it actually uh, protrudes just slightly more. This is the new line roller on my right hand here. So uh, we're going to just install it and make sure it fits and then uh, we'll continue from there. If it doesn't fit, I'll have to go and try a different one. But yeah, that, uh, that looks like it'll do it. So let's go ahead and reinstall it. Anytime you're working with a line roller bearing from Shimano, I like to put extra grease on the outside of the line roller. That'll just add a seal to basically keep all salt water out of this thing. And that's basically the goal. So just excess amount of grease on that. That should be good there and I'll set this aside now. So again, I'm just gonna reassemble it exactly the way I took it off. So this has been soaking for a little bit with that cleanse oil, so I'm gonna just hit this real quick. Come back to the reel over here. Eh, spin that around. And I'm actually gonna hit that in there as well, just because we do have some of that leftover cleanse oil. And just get all that. You can see that we did get most of that cleanser off and a little bit of dirt as well. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do it to the other side as well, this side. Now we didn't have a lot of corrosion, so just a quick wipe down should be fine. Yep, that'll suffice. And we'll go ahead and just reinstall all these parts. So we're gonna start with this pin on the back side. And you can see that it's actually, hold on, I'll show you. It's not a circle and neither is this side. So. We're gonna have to push it in and actually get it so that it fits. It's a little difficult to flash here, but sometimes it's easier to go from this side. What I'll do is I'll just twist it until it slides right in. Oh, you saw it just like that. You absolutely saw that, cool. So now that we have that started, go ahead and put the shim. Do not forget the shim is necessary. Slide that down on in there. Now we take this and we're gonna make sure we orientate it the right way, which is going to be this here. So now from this side, I'm going to install it. If you do it the opposite way, the line will actually get caught in this side of the arm and it'll actually start breaking off. So you wanna make sure you're orientating your line roller the correct way. Just make sure you set it down and lift it up and put it back on the exact way you took it off and you won't have any issues. So we're gonna go ahead and install this shim here. Just slides right in, that looks good. You can see all that grease is just packed on in there, which is perfect, exactly what we want. Now we're gonna take our shim here and stick it right on, as so. Now we will carefully lift this up into position. 
just like that. And I'm pinching everything together as we reinstall the screw. Get that started with our hand here. Come around with that multi-kit. And it'll tighten everything up from the backside. You actually feel this bale lifting up into position. That's how you know that you have everything lined up good. So now that we are done with that, we'll inspect our job. It looks pretty good. That's seated up nicely. Nothing's popping out irregularly. So now we're going to take our rubber band again and do the exact same test as we did before. Now this should fix the problem as we just swapped a brand new bearing in there, but we'll just make sure. Oh yeah, you don't hear anything. That is butter smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and put the mic on this so you can hear what I'm hearing. All right, with the mic on. Yeah, you don't hear anything. All right guys, that was how to fix your line roller assembly in the Vanquish 2016 XD model from Japan. Now again, this will work for most Shimano reels and there are two ways of doing it. Either it's a one piece line roller or it's a disassembled where you can just swap out the bearing. So if you guys did learn something through this video, I want you to hit that thumbs up button, go down there and smack that subscribe button as well, turn on post notifications for my channel just so you never miss any videos when I post them. Now. There's still 92% of you guys that are not subscribed to my channel and watching all my videos. What are you doing? Seriously, hit that subscribe button. There's no reason not to. You're already here. You've already watched half my videos. Don't lie to me. I know you. I see you. Stay tuned for the next couple videos because I will have a Shimano Vanford video coming out. If this video has helped you guys, go down in the comments and say so. I really love reading every single one of the comments. And if you have any video ideas, make sure to put them down in the comment section. I read all the comments like I said and I will make sure I respond to you. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Tight lines.